have a couple of popcorn questions for you. Oh, okay. um, and hopefully you don't have to think too much hard or too hard about these. But I mean, I feel like sometimes you have to. Um, <laughs> number one, the first one is going to be, what was the funniest moment or most memorable moment on the found set? Okay, memorable moment. Okay, fun, memorable moment. Well, well um, I just want to preface that fun would be tough after everything you just said. <laughs> So memorable, yeah. probably. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it depends on if I was actually on set. Because remember, sometimes I would go on set just to be You're on right. set. Okay. Right. Not, I wasn't filming. I was just on there. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember the moment. Oh, it was this one time when we were uh, on set. I wasn't filming. I think it was like towards the end. It was towards the end because I just came back for the I think it was like the last episode, and I, they were playing music. It was like a dance break, mm -hmm. and we all was just dancing. I mean, but they was playing like like I mean, like old school music. Like you, know, I'm old soul, okay, very old school. So so I mean, they were playing uh uh what was it um. Oh, why can I not think of the artist? Why, why, why? Uh, darn it. I don't know if it was It Takes Two or it was somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I do not know why, but I just remember being so happy because I felt like, you know, you were just surrounded by so many positive, like everybody mm -hmm. on that set was just so positive and, and loving. And so everybody was just having a good time. So that was my most like fun moment. A memorable moment, if that makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that right there. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> can you can you even picture right now in your head Mark Paul dancing to Rob Bass? It takes two. I can I can totally right. see that right now. Like, <laughs> I want if there's video of that anywhere, we need to find that and like post that because that's. <laughs> he was there though. Uh. I don't think he was because it was it was it was um. Everybody all I, yeah I don't think he was there. <laughs> no, it, yeah, I don't think so. Uh. I don't think he was there. <laughs> oh, that's so Somebody. funny that yeah, is so I, funny. I, will, I will remember that okay right <laughs> all right all right so now this is kind of a fun one okay so th this is like I, I we're gonna dive into the mind a little bit of how you think if you could live in any movie or tv show which one would it be and why oh already martin <laughs> mm. wow that was quick that was yeah. quick i love that i love that on some type of sitcom like mine. I want to be there, okay? And it's just because it's so fun. Like, and, and they remind me, Martin and Gina reminds me, like, they, they're they just like my parents. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm already living there, literally. Right. But that's that's why, because it's so, it's just a, it, it's it's very um, um um familiar to me. So, and it's so, it's, it's such a fun show and it's, such an amazing cast and oh yeah yeah it is yeah. it is i love that reunion at the emmys that was really cool that was awesome <laughs> um next one would be if you could work with anyone who would it be oh taraji p henson oh mm, man so good man yeah. you are killing it with these answers Woo! i know right <laughs> yeah no she's on my vision board mm. i'm gonna get there no you I, it, I, I just love her her, like I, I haven't met her personally, but I just love her. <laughs> I, I just her spirit, like just by her interviews and everything, and then how she's such an advocate on mental health, all that. Like I just, I love that. I love that so much, and I love her range. Like I, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> that's i mean that you're gonna get there trust me we we uh, one of our guests just a couple weeks ago callie spraggins she played a young cookie so you know and you got yeah so i'm telling you you're gonna be there you're gonna be there and i can i just say if it, it like shinola hampton and taraji p you would be like legendary at that point <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, if you're working with both of them uh, we're gonna manifest that we're gonna make that happen we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna make that happen uh okay so we, we know your routine to come back down. We go, we dance to Michael Jackson. We get all that. What's the morning routine? What, 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 what does Azaria do when she wakes up in the morning to get going? Okay. It like, 
for a set day or just my everyday routine? Just everyday life. What, what, what's, a, what's a normal okay. morning routine for you? Well, first of all, I get up and I pray personally. Um, and I meditate. Um, and basically, that's the first thing I do. And then afterwards, we, we're in 2024, okay? 2024. New year, new me. Um, <laughs> I started working out, y'all. Every morning. Okay. Nice. Every morning. Because I told myself that I really want to prioritize my um my health. Mm -hmm. Um, not only just mentally, but physically as well. Um, and that's really something that I've been really going towards. And even um in the mornings, uh, I like to write down what I have to do that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so after I work out, so I pray, meditate, um, go work out. I like to write down what I, I listen to the music and I write down like what I have to do today, what I want to accomplish today, the goals for today. And then I write down my goals for the week. What am nice. I want to accomplish at least this week? And then you have the, you know, the broad one of this month, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and again, just trying to balance because I am in school as well. So that goes mm -hmm. on that list as well. Um, and that's honestly like, and after that, I eat eventually. I sometimes I forget. <laughs> okay. I'm working on that. Um, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I, and that's honestly how I start my day. I literally have a plan for my day. I plan my day out before I even started. Uh, Logan, that's who does good, that though. sound that's like? Good. Right? Yeah, like, like, well, we could pull out day. our planners right now. My, yeah. The top of my planner says meditate, exercise, and then my list of things to do for the day. And we have the month planned out. We, you're so like-minded. No wonder we like you so much. You're very like-minded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, and the fifth and final question, this one's kind of deep, so be prepared. So far, are you happy with your career? I am. Good. I am. I feel like it's going the way it's meant to go, and, and I'm so grateful. Cause I, honestly, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Even when I first started, I didn't even think I would be here where I am today. Just because mm -hmm. again, I was that shy, timid, um, you know, little girl. Um, right. I think I, I started about 14, 15 years old. So I I can't even, like that little girl, I know she is so proud of the woman that I am today. Mm -hmm. um, and just the area, I'm still growing. You know, I'm still taking uh, lessons, uh, my acting lessons and everything. I'm still growing and I'm continuously going to grow even when I get, 10 years from now, I'm still going to always dedicate myself to grow because you can always grow. Um, but I, I am very happy. I'm happy where I am and I'm blessed to be where I am. And I'm excited to see what else is in the pot, you know, cooking up um, sure. <laughs> that I don't know about yet. And I know everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. And I know I'm going to end up where I need to be.